Gail is on the line from Covina. Hi, Gail. Hi, Leo. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. I and actually am good. I just have kind of a simple question. All of a sudden, I'm paying attention to the little flags and notices about Windows 10 Good. on my computer. Good. Now, I've got kind of two questions. Yeah. One, if I've kind of learned to love <laughs> 8.1, do you think, you know, I've heard you say things over the weeks. Do you think it's a good idea to go ahead? Because I've heard it's not going to... You know, it changes things. Gonna work, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's going to change, so you know whether you want to do it or not. Okay. And by the way, I never learned to love Windows 8.1, but I did learn to tolerate it. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but there are some things going away. For instance, the charms bar. You know, that's the, when you when you yes. swipe from the right side, you get that little yeah. bar, and the charms bar has a search, has a share, a start, mm -hmm. uh, devices and settings. That's a little menu there. Right. Um, Microsoft thought that would be a good idea. The problem is no one else could find it. And uh, But if you love the Charms Bar, bad news, that's gone. Okay. But they've replaced it with something I think is much more useful, a notification center that has the same capabilities. In fact, you can add other icons to the bottom part. Yeah. It'll also show you notifications. I think they've done that. Actually, that's a big improvement. So I like that. Okay. The other thing that's changed is the Windows... Uh, menu, the start menu. A lot of people complained when Microsoft took the start menu away in Windows 8. Mm -hmm. So what they decided to do instead was put that button back that's in the lower left-hand corner of your computer. And if you tap it, you get the weirdest hybrid of a menu, start menu, and um, uh, tiles. There's actually tiles on the smart menu. So now, you know, Windows 8, you're used to pressing the start button and it brings you to that tile page and then you can go back and forth in this case it's going to pop up a start menu that is kind of um uh, reminiscent of it's a hybrid really of windows 8's tile menu and the windows 7 start menu okay now i don't i'm not crazy about that but i don't think it's bad mm -hmm. the problem is going to be as you add more and more tiles that menu is going to end up looking kind of crazy like it's both a start screen and a start menu. I don't know how we're going to handle that. Okay. And then the, the one more thing that's going to be a big change. Uh -huh. You know these full screen applications that you get in the Windows Store? They used to call them Metro. Now they call it the modern UI. So, for instance, you have two browsers on Windows 8. You have Internet Explorer for the desktop, which is just like your old Internet Explorer. And this new one that takes up the whole screen, it's got a, a menu, the start, the uh, the address windows in the bottom. OneNote has the same thing. There's two versions of OneNote, a Metro full screen version and a desktop version. In Windows 10, all applications are windowed like they used to be in Windows 7. The full screen applications are now in a window. You can make them go full screen, but they're but they're not normally in just a regular window. Mm -hmm. And you can shuffle windows one on top of the other and all of that. Right. All of these are kind of um, concession to people from Windows 7 who said, but wait a minute, I don't, I like the desktop, I like Windows. Mm -hmm. And so the way they've kind of handled it in Windows 10 is when you, if you have a convertible, one of those laptops like the Surface where you can detach the keyboard and it becomes a tablet, it will then offer to go in tablet mode, which is very much like Windows 8. You could actually run Windows 10 in tablet mode and it would be very similar to what you're used to in Windows okay. 8. Okay, one more question. Sure. If, um... Is it automatically going to download it? Am I going to not have any, you know, say in the matter? Or is it, you know, you know, like when it does updates and things like that? Will no, it automatically? It, it will download never it? automatically download it. Okay. okay. Ever. So you'll have to say, yes, I agree. I want to go to Windows 10. If okay. you, are you getting that little flag in your system tray, the little white wind, yep. flat window? Okay. Yep. And, and you can click that and say, I accept the invitation. Like, yes, I want it, because it's a free upgrade for you and anybody using Windows 7 or right. 8. But And you can cancel that at any time, because that little icon isn't going to go away. If you tap it again, you can actually look at your reservation, cancel your reservation. Um, mm. And even, I believe, although we don't know, even after it downloads Windows 10, before it installs it, I'm sure it's going to say, now, are you sure you want to install Windows 10? Mm-hmm. 
Some things will change. For instance, it will uninstall Windows Media Center. So if you use that, you're going to want to say, whoa, hold on there. Because uh, Windows Media Center does not work in Windows 10. But what Microsoft found is no, very few people use it. So they just said, well, we're going to get rid of it. They haven't updated it since 2009. The other thing that might be more, <laughs> might concern you a little bit more, many of the games like Solitaire, Spider Solitaire, Solitaire, Minesweeper, those are going away. You'll be able to re-download them, but they will be uninstalled. And Candy Crush Saga is the new game. Oh. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm told, I don't know if this is true. We don't really know yet, right, because it hasn't happened. Uh, but I'm told that it will not download the entire large file for Candy Crush Saga, but it's just a little... I hope uh, you, not. I hope not. You click it, and it'll say, hey, you want to install it? And you say, no. Go away. I don't want to install it. I got a life. Okay. But other than that, I think it's not going to be a big disruptive change. All right. That sounds good. That's good. I'm exactly so glad you I asked. No. I think everybody needs to know this. Microsoft, it's not clear. And so I'm really glad you called, Gail. I'm glad we could clarify that. All right. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks for calling.